Whoa! Get the hell out of me. I... I don't know about this bridge. Huh. Nothing. Okay, the jump through is the only way through. Unless there's something cool here. Getting rid of all those guys, because, you know, anytime I leave them alone, they zombie grab me. And just kill me with a bite attack. And I hate it. I hate it so much. Friendly ghost? What's he got? Gotta say. Oh please, not the jar, anything but that. I promise I won't ever do it again. I swear, a living saint I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please. Alright. You don't want to be a jar man. Hmm, like the other dungeon, that seems like a series of steps that you could potentially jump down to get somewhere. So we'll keep that in mind. I love the lighting in this place. Like the whole cool blue glow is just, it's just incredible. Everything just looks so good. And I remember Lords of the Fallen had this kind of really nice look as well with some of these areas. Damn. This, this, this room's a little bit suspicious. Yep. Uh, what else you got for me in here? Trust nothing. Trust no one. Right. 
Right. Damn, damn we're going. Whoop. Oh, God. little jar people running around below us. Oh, It's a shame they're hostile. Can't we just be pals? I'm pretty sure the, the large one is just an untargetable enemy. Get out of here. I don't know what else is going on in this room, but surely that can't be the end of it. Yep. You get a boulder, and you get a boulder. You get a boulder. Oh, this guy totally gets a boulder. I'm not allowed to lock on. That's weird. God, this place is crazy. Goes all the way down there. Goes all the way over there. What the hell? Okay. Sure. Well, we'll never finish unless we start. Yeah, I didn't think this was safe. I would say it looks like the king of jars over there, but we've seen a much bigger jar person. I'm thinking about the creation of the jar golem that's like in in the Kalid Colosseum my god they must have put a lot to fill that guy there must have been all the dead people in the world ah shoot Oh god. Ah, <sighs> oh, crumbling staircases are the worst. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. Huh. Thought there might have been rad secrets over there. Ah. 
Can't fool me, sir. No chance. Well, I think these are the gripping ones. Get away from me. I kind of had that lurch about them. I'm not going to walk under that jar in case it tries to fall on me. I think this one's going to be an enemy one. Oh, oh, I was wrong. Okay. I could have sworn someone was going to crawl out of there. I have my suspicions. Wait, I'm lost now. But the the doorway's new. What about over here? I hear something. Yeah. Can I summon Torrent? I cannot. You definitely don't jump directly from here to there. That's that that gap's too small. Only by a little bit, but I think too small. So I think we might need to carry on down the uh, down the right here. No. Okay. Yeesh. Get out of here, Nightmare Fiend. What the hell? 
Don't shock a guy like that. So I now got whatever this was, but was this the only area with a thing on the top? I don't know. Let's try and go this way. Yeah, it's near where this door is. Let's let's just say it was the only piece of loot that I was supposed to jump up and get and uh, move on and not think about it. There's, there's no way that one over there is not an enemy. Um, I aimed my camera forward. Why did it throw at that guy? Thank you. That's better. Get out of it. Boom. Ah, oh, I lost this bit of loot. You're not allowed to loot while it's in the air. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to fall off the entire world trying to grab a piece of junk loot. does upset me though a lot I thought I heard something growling coming from this way ah maybe him totally a monster at the very least and the other two are as well store. That looks like a lift. Anything else up here on this platform? I guess technically you could jump down to that. But I, I don't know, man. It doesn't look like there's anything useful down that way, but it it's suspicious, right? I think that maybe when you land on it, it brings you up there, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I reckon. But do I want to rerun the entire dungeon? If I miss. I might try and do the boss first, and then try and come backwards. I bet I'm the only person to uh, to find this one, but this 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 has got to be a secret for sure. Ain't no one as careful as observation as me. Oh, dude, what? I've just found an amazing secret. There's no way anybody else anywhere found that. No chance. Bro. Clearly I should be writing the strategy guides. Come on. What 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 did I win? 
What do I get? Oh, enemy. Oh, this is up at the shrine. Great jar hat. And there's like an enemy below me, but oh, oh, he has woken up. Okay. It's not the heaviest equipment. Great jar hat. A great jar which fits comfortably over the head when upturned. Attire of the shamans who perform their worship at jails. Increases the power of thrown pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars, such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth taken into the hands of mortal men. Huh. Pretty cool. I would have more poise if I wore it. Easily a world's first. This is a different side from the side I came up on. Cool. Here we go. Boom! One shot, without any mana potions left. Demi-human swordsman Yosh, after defeat, defeat the other one who is called Ons. So we didn't get the soul of the guy we beat, we got someone else's soul. Demi-human swordsman Yosh. Ons, a master swordsman, the guy we did beat, who devoted himself 
to the star-lined sword, realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars, and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's word and sp words and spent his entire life at his side, in defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. Now, oh, they were brothers till the end. Yosh and Ons. Another dungeon super duper cleared. We got a lot of souls. We can uh, take the marker off of that one. Boom. Done. So we've done all of this except for whatever's happening on the other side of the Blackthorns. Hmm, I wonder, did I ever make it into that castle? I made it outside and fought some guys, I think, but I'm not sure if I ever made it into the castle. No. So I couldn't figure out how to get up onto that bridge. See, we're able to get all the way down here under the bridges to this dungeon. But how the heck do we get? I remember there being two bridges. How strange. Doesn't look like we can climb down from this ridge either. No way the answer is to jump, walk off of this broken bit of bridge, right? Oh god. Not that I even made it, but... Interesting. We'll start from down here. Shimmy left. See what's going on. This was a forest full of trolls, from what I remember. 
try not to set too many of them off. So that one doesn't even connect into the keep on the left there. Secret entrance down the bottom. No, I've been all along here. Damn. This is where all the guys throw firebombs at you. And I think I finally defeated all of them once, and I still couldn't really get into the place. Looks like their forces step out of the top floor of the keep and then they walk along the ladders. And it's not that the ladders get you into the keep at all. Boo. Why don't they want me to visit more castles? So how the hell are we doing this thing? Can I maybe cross the water to get in there? No, I don't think so. Let's have a look. Yeah, this bit's too high, and then the other water's too low. Gosh, down it. I need some sort of slow fall potion or wings or both. We need, we need a new thing to think about. Might try looking off the side of here again. Maybe also looking up at the suppressing pillar again. Uh, 
This is near where Igor is, so we might start groaning and moaning again. Stupid Igor. Yep. I'll try talking to him again. See if maybe we can fix whatever his problem is. Oh, the pain, the exquisite pain. Yep, nope. I can't even remember what the problem was at the top of this tower. Or if we could even go inside to the top of the tower. I basically don't remember the tower. I think I remember the view. Like, the view was nice. I remember spending a little while going, damn, that's a nice view, and then that was about it. The very center of the lands between all manner of death wash up here, only to be suppressed. Yeah, great. It doesn't really... It doesn't really do anything for me. So we've been to the top of that one. We've been to the top of that one. We've been right the way up to the Erd Tree. We've been to that uh, big priest's house over there. We haven't been to that. That's got to be above where the... Yeah, that's the Valley of Fingers down there. Because that's the bridge. Oh, what I wouldn't give to get to that wooden bridge. And see what's the what over there. Wait, what the heck? Is that a... Stone dragon embedded into the rock? Maybe. I haven't managed to get into any of that red terrain either. We managed to get down below it, where that fire guy is. Because that's the marker for him. By going down the river... Here. If I uh, borrow my one for a minute. This point in the river goes right the way across to this man. And then we ended up underneath running past him. So it wasn't really useful getting up here. Maybe we can use that rock formation at the very bottom of this tower to start traversing along towards the, the, the dead or dying dragon. Maybe. You would have thought if it was possible, I would have done it.
Yeah, no, that's a little bit lower than I thought. We've been on that, that road down there. That leads down to the church. It doesn't expressly do anything. Oh, I don't know if I visited that shrine of um, Makila over there. Yeah, <laughs> bye, bird. Uh oh. Aha, bye, bird. What about in relation to the church? It still looks way too low. <sighs> I can't figure out some of the Z axis on this game. It's, it's really hard to get anywhere. We'll start at the Cliff Road Terminus and try and head up onto the red bit. I'll just take a, a look down from the start and see if we can figure this out. Now, where is all of that red terrain? below us. Down there. Just where it should be. That's still crazy far down. And that gets us back to the starting land. We don't want to do that. Now this bit leads us part way down. And we end up in that... Oh no. thing somewhere. Shoot. I've I've not been madder than this for a while. I'm 
wonder if this is something cool over here, like a dungeon or something. No. This is one of the friendly dudes. I didn't have anything more to say. That's fine. He gave me some free stuff earlier. Wait, if it's not into there, where did I jump off before? Uh, huh? Now I am confused, like, what? That's just the starting cave, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. Is there a hole in the church somewhere? No. I, I literally don't remember how this goes. I'm... I am perplexed. Oh well. You can go from the bottom way and up, at least. Well. I can go from the bottom way and back a bit. Interesting jutting out formation. Shame it doesn't really lead around to anywhere.
don't know where exactly Mr. Fire Golem's gone. And, uh... Ah, there he is. Ah, uh, Tarrant is a badass at jumping. You can go right the way back up this cliffside. Good boy. Okay, apparently I have a save point under the ground down here. Let's see, isn't this more tasteful than the Skyrim horse? Heck yeah! He is the bestest of boys. If only he could join me in combat somehow. Uh, with, with, with damage. But he does join me in combat quite a lot of the time. So. This did not get me to the, the red area. But that's where our fireman is. How on earth we get to any of these other locations, I do not know. It's so... It's so worrying to me that I haven't been able to find so much platform and footing and an entire map. What the heck? I can accept a jumping horse more readily than a horse for all climbs. Yeah, I don't think I use the Skyrim horse to try and glitch up any terrain or anything. Is that a thing? Does he manage to kind of skate upwards along mountains like a like a strange guy? It didn't seem to offer any interesting kind of path back to what I wanted. Oh dear, it's famous for climbing up mountains. It's not saying a real horse should be able to do, just like... Yeah, that's weird. Why'd they make it do that? Yeah, Mr. Firefire. I haven't been down the right-hand side of him all that far, so I guess we'll check this wall for dungeons. Oh really, it's just uh, the landscape presents a challenge to be over overcome easily. Oh man, it's starting to sound pretty toasty behind me. All of their games you can cheat climb. They've never fixed it? Dude, that's awful. Okay, 
now we just gotta find a way up. A satisfactory way up. Haha, <laughs> fix. If it weren't for modding, Skyrim would have stayed an obscure third rate game. I I can see that. I really liked Morrowind for the time. Morrowind seemed like Pretty decent technologically. And then Oblivion was alright, but it wasn't that much greater than Morrowind in a lot of ways. Yeah, I could see that. I'll just do a playthrough of, of Morrowind and Oblivion as well. I still don't think we're going to be able to get to where I want to get to. I think the next bit's the problem bit. And there are variations on the same topic. Apocalypse Skyrim and now Space Skyrim. It's kind of weird that you'd expect... Um, you'd expect good things to be said about Fallout, because at least it's got like its own... really good like humour and style and... You know, kind of in-depth uh, lore, I suppose. And at least there's some good stuff in there. From what I remember. Like, I thought vaults are a really cool concept. And some of the, some of the crazy, ridiculous, bad things that happen in vaults. It's kind of compellingly interesting storytelling. I don't know how the space one is. It's new, so it's probably looks nice graphically. Probably nothing else. 